हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवन फ्रॉम डिजी इंटीग्रिटी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 24 जियोमी हैज अनाउंसड द Redmi Note 10 सीरीज इन द कंट्री ए टोटल ऑफ 3 स्मार्टफोन्स शेयर अनवेल नेमली Redmi Note 10 Redmi Note 10 Pro एंड Redmi Note 10 Pro Max एट द एंड ऑफ द इवेंट द कंपनी आल्सो टीज़ द अराइवल ऑफ Redmi TVs इन द कंट्री टू नो मोर स्पेसिफिकेशंस ऑफ दिस 3 मोबाइल्स प्लीज चेक आउट द कार्ड अबव वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग बिट्स ऑफ न्यूज इज समथिंग दैट जस्ट पॉप्ड अप टुडे Seemingly out of nowhere, I am referring to the news around Jio projecting into low-cost laptops with the rumored device called Jio Book. I do like the name; it is lined up with how they named like Jio Phone. Even more interesting is the fact that the device is expected to run on Android fork called Jio OS, a name that comes dangerously close to Jio's. Moto G10 Power and Moto G30 prices in India will be revealed on March 9th at 12 p.m. and the phones will go on sale on Flipkart. Moto G30 Power will be brand new phone while the Moto G30 has already been launched. Moto G30 features Snapdragon 662 chipset, quad camera and a 5000 mAh battery. While Moto G10 comes with a Snapdragon 460 processor and a 6.5 inch HD plus resolution screen and a 8 megapixel selfie camera and a 48 megapixel quad rear camera setup. The handset houses a 5000 mAh battery with 10 watts fast charging support and other features such as dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, USB type C port and runs on Android 11 out of the box. Porsche unveils its latest electric vehicle. The company also took the wrap of two full suspension electric bikes. The bikes which will start selling this spring are the brand's first electric bicycles. In the terms of the design, the Porsche Sport e-bike comes with a full suspension carbon fiber frame and weighs less than 48 pounds. It is also integrated front and rear lights while it is driven by a Shimano mid-driver motor. The Sport comes with a hefty price tag of about $10,700. On its part the off-road adventure design the Pro Cross also packs a Shimano mid-drive and a carbon fiber frame. It also comes with a full suspension which allows a comfortable drive even on a bumpy road. For braking the Cross comes with a Magura MT trial hydraulic disc brakes that are extra large and heat resistant. The bike is slightly heavier at 48.7 pounds and carry a price tag of around 8549 US dollars. Twitter has a long standing complaint against itself for all the users around the world. Now that's an edit button. Once you have posted the tweet you can't edit it. The only option is to have a delete the tweet or repost. But it seems like companies finally willing to give it a thought and solve the problem for us. But it is not what you think. While an edit button is nowhere in sight, Twitter is willing to give us an undo send button that will help you recall the tweet you just posted, but only within 5 seconds of posting. Once you posted the tweet, you will have an option to undo the post and Twitter will bring you back to the posting screen. Gaming equipment brand Razer has released its smart glasses named Anzu Smart Glasses in the US. The company described its new smart glasses as a open ear audio glass that also filter blue light to reduce eye strains from computer and other screens. Razer has launched the Anzu Smart Glass in two designs, a rectangular frame and a round frame, each offered in two size options. The Razer Anzu Smart Glasses are priced at rupees $199, that is roughly around Rs. 14,600 rupees. and are available in US via Razer's website. Realme GT Neo will be the last member in the new series. The new smartphone will come with MediaTek Dimensity 1200. This is unlike the original Realme GT which will come with Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. The Realme GT Neo is also claimed to deliver fast performance. However, the detailed specifications of this smartphone are yet to be revealed. Samsung's isocell image sensor lineup has done remarkably well in last few years although it's still behind Sony's IMX sensor in terms of overall market share the company's 64 megapixel and 108 megapixel sensor have been seen a great adoption on budget and premium mid-range smartphones Samsung said that they would and be announcing a new pixel technology called isocell 2.0 in their upcoming 0.7 micro sensors with the company said would improve the light sensitivity up to 12% over isocell plus 6 months later the company has finally detailing the new pixel technology Redmi Note 10s and Redmi Note 10 5G may have launched globally these two mobiles bears model numbers under BIS certifications these devices may release in india as poco phones Vivo X60 series will launch in india in march 
Vivo X60 series includes Vivo X60, Vivo X60 Pro and Vivo X60 Pro Plus. Vivo X60 Pro Plus is powered by flagship Snapdragon 888 SoC. As per the reports, the Vivo X60 series will launch in India towards the end of the March. The standard Vivo X60 and Vivo X60 Pro share some specifications. Both phones flaunt a 6.56 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate. They both are sponsored by Samsung Exynos 1080 chipset, which is coupled with up to 12GB RAM and 256GB storage. However, these models launching in India may arrive with Snapdragon chipsets. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share, and subscribe. And follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.